enter the world of quadriplegic Gary Finkel. Gary has been paralyzed ever since he was injured in a swimming pool accident many years ago. Gary Finkel is one of an estimated 90,000 Americans who have lost almost all feelings and movements below their shoulders due to severe spinal cord injuries. Gary lives in a house on a hilltop outside the village of Andes, New York. Living with him are his wife Mickey and a female capuchin monkey named Joe. Answer orally. Do you think Joe is a pet monkey or more than that? When I visited Gary recently, Joe was perched protectively on the back of his wheelchair. Gary Finkel was one of the first quadriplegics to be helped by a group called Helping Hands, Simeon Aids for the Disabled. Helping Hands was started by Dr. Mary Joan Willard. It gives disabled people trained capuchin monkeys to help them become independent. Shortly after it started, Helping Hands received publicity in newspapers and magazines and on television. Now it is no longer a novelty, but a proven success that makes a real difference in the lives of the people it serves. Gary uses his mouth to control a small laser pointer attached to his wheel. With it, he directs Joe to open and shut doors, turn lights on or off, change books or magazines on a reading stand, or tapes in a cassette player. She brings him The mouth stick is a quadriplegic's main tool. It is used for practically everything. Turning the pages of a book, dialing the telephone, changing channels on the television, and working at a computer. If Gary's mouth stick drops to the floor, Joe picks it up and gently places it back into his mouth. I definitely cannot imagine living without her, says Gary Finkel about Joe.